everyone, welcome to another Eurovision Hub Reaction video. Today we're reacting to a decade of Sweden at the Eurovision Song Contest. 10 years. Tio or of Sverige. I am so excited. Let's go. Right, I actually love this. <laughs> this was a non-qualifier. I forgot Sweden even goes to the semi-finals. <laughs> this didn't qualify, which these days will be unheard for Sweden. I feel that's undeserved. I think her voice is great. I don't recall this one. I don't remember this song. I do not remember this. I was honestly not a fan of it, and I'm glad it actually didn't qualify. <gasps> yes! Yeah, it's popular! This song still slams. This is the Sweden we know. Teenage me had a massive crush on him. This song wasn't popular with me, pun intended. I did love the staging for this. The choreography in this case is a 10 out of 10. I just kind of find it devoid of feeling or substance. It's such a stupid song and it plays third and I'm like, this just proves that Sweden can do whatever though. They can poop on stage and still play top 10. <laughs> then we have Queen Lorraine! I would wish that the Russian ladies won over this song. It's a good winner and all, but I don't get why everyone sees this as a oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Oh, here we go. The most successful Eurovision song. Do we agree? Yeah. This is, I think, a historic win for Eurovision in general. I honestly feel that this winner changed the course of Eurovision history forever. Why don't I remember you? I actually really like this. I feel like they didn't send this entry to win. A lot of people are quite hard on this entry. I quite like it, actually. Now that is a note. <laughs> Whoa. Why is he screaming? <laughs> no. OK, this guy surely can sing. I think finishing 14th in the grand final was enough for this song. Um, I never really liked Undo. I don't remember this song and I know why I didn't remember it. Oh, I don't like this song. It's such a boring song. I don't feel her delivery fit with the song, if that makes any sense. Vocals on point. Good song, which is the most important. And it's really quintessentially Euro Eurovision. I never liked Heroes, sorry. It relied too much on staging and I hate that. I just feel 2015 was one of the strongest years that I have watched as a Euro fan and there are other countries I would have liked to have seen winning. I think Italy could have won that year. I think Estonia could have won. I like this song. The minute he opened his mouth, <laughs> I realized that this is gonna be our winner. The graphics, like wow, like that was the first time that anyone had ever done anything like this in Eurovision. Gonna be honest, the song hasn't aged very well. This was, again, like another euphoric kind of moment where I saw it and I'm like, this is gonna win. I don't remember this one. I remember when he won, there was an uproar because he just didn't care. I preferred Oscar, Oscar Zia that year for Melfest. Should have won instead of this. Okay, this is boring. He just stands there. <laughs> I really liked this choice for Sweden. It was very different. Yes! Um. <laughs> oh, I can go on. This was really, really cool. This one I remember very good. Oh, I can't go on. I can't go on listening to this song. I hate it. Again, it's similar to Eric. It's, it's devoid of feeling and substance. It's too polished. Again, rely too much on staging, generic pop song. 
Good song. Love the treadmills. This was an injustice. This deserves to go so much higher. This is the best staging in Eurovision history for me. With 21 points, Sweden. <laughs> I hate this too. I didn't really like the song that much, to be honest. I don't like the song. Don't like it at all. A lot of people don't like it. Dava, you hate this song, but I don't care. I love it. Did it really deserve seven? No, maybe a bit lower. Generic pop song relied on staging and it was a male. Then this year, I still don't know if I like this song or not. He's just good looking. This song is perfect. This is such a feel-good song and I get so happy and I just want to sing along. I, I didn't understand the hype of this song. It's getting quite predictable and tiring. Seeing Sweden excelling so much in the jury vote and the public not backing them as much. I don't go away from praises the hearts of Sweden because they do the same thing year in, year out. And it's just boring. I think they deserve their high places every year. This song was so different for them. Where is the difference? Ugh! I'm actually just done. I do kind of think they copied Austria from last year though. Ah, that was a nice reminiscent moment. What did you guys think? Do you guys think that they should have done as well as they did throughout the years? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, don't forget about that notification bell because then you won't miss any of our videos and see our lovely little faces reacting to all those Eurovision moments. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. So bid you goodbye. What am I being so weird today? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>